In this tutorial, let's talk about the so-called Ferranti effect. The Ferranti effect is a voltage increase along a power line at low load conditions. Uh, the Ferranti effect starts to be significant at line lengths as well above 100 km and it can reach well above 50% at very long line. So this is something where countermeasures have to be taken in order to avoid damages on equipment such as transformers, uh, breakers or whatever else. The Ferranti effect has its root cause in the inductive and capacitive layer of a transmission line. In fact, a transmission line can be modeled as an infinitesimal series of LC circuits. Each one is, would be slightly damped by a nomic resistance. The resistance comes from the resistance of the wires. In order to explain the principle, let's have a look at just one of these uh, line segments. The values of the individual components uh, are exaggerated here. Here you can see how the output of this LC circuit is increased compared to the input voltage at the source. This is the basis for the effect. The resonance of this LC circuit finally leads to the voltage increase at the line end. This voltage increase can be mitigated by adding a reactor at the line end. So here there is a reactor and you can see that the voltage at the end of the line is comparable or even equal to the source voltage. The voltage increase is also mitigated if you have a heavy load at the end of the line. In this case, it would be a 230 ohm resistance. And you can see two things. First of all, the output voltage is not any more higher than the source voltage. And the second thing you can also observe is that there is a phase shift between the source and the line end voltage. Let's now come back to our distributed transmission line model. Let's now see what happens if we have a ohmic resistance at the end of the line. This is the model we are utilizing and these are the various curves. I just explained you what it is now. So here I have a 750 km lines line and I have uh, subdivided it in five segments. And between each one of the segments, I'm measuring the voltage and you can see the traces of the individual voltages uh, on the graph here. So the lowest voltage is the source voltage. And then each segment, you see that the voltage is increasing until you have the highest voltage at the load end of the line. In this case, I have a very low load. That means a high resistance. Therefore, the Ferranti effect uh, is fully materialized. If, however, I increase now my load, that means I reduce the resistance at the end of the line, you can see that the voltage along the line is reduced. So at each segment, the voltage is slightly lower. And you can also see that there is a phase shift between the source voltage and the voltage at each one of the segments. The maximum phase shift is achieved at the end of the line. So this is typically what you would get if the resistance at the end of the line is lower than the, the surge impedance of the line. Let's now have a look at what would happen if instead of a resistance, I put a reactor at the end of the line. We can see here now that with the reactor at the end of the same line, the voltage at the end of the line would decrease. If the reactor is optimized, the voltage would be reduced to one per unit. That means I would have the same voltage at the source as at the end. But what you can also see in case of a reactive load, you can see that along the line, the profile would not be one per unit. It would, be go, it would go a little bit above one per unit. So you would get the kind of uh, N-shaped voltage profile along the line. In order to reduce the Ferranti effect and at the same time over voltages at the line end, I would install a reactor at the line end and the reactor would be switched on either always or just in cases I would have a low load condition. And normally I would also put the reactor at the beginning and at the end of the line. So I would not dump all the reactive uh, power at one end of the line only. I would subdivide it. On the simulation you can now see what happens if I vary the reactors uh, at both line ends.
here you can see an example of such a high voltage reactor which would be placed at uh, one or at both line ends as usual you can go to the simulator and play around with the simulator in this case you should build it up yourself because it's a simple simulation 